the LG V20 user here, and today I'm doing a video about AT&T and Cricket Wireless Auto. I'm on AndroidPolice.com here, and it says that AT&T and Cricket customers received texts that their location was used by third parties. So this is very concerning, guys. So you know, some people um are probably you know I'm sure a lot of people are probably freaked out about this. You know what I'm saying? So um you know there's like concern, there's probably concerns about it, of course, you know. And you know, I'm pretty sure that no one likes this anyway. So, um, if you guys have gotten a text message from AT&T or Cricket about this, let me know. I like to know who have gotten this text message. So, like I said, I'm on AndroidPolice.com here, and here's the uh, copy of the text message right here. That's what the text message looks like. Um, it says. It, AT&T free message notice mobile line whatever whatever your number is on your account has consented to share phone location or other subscriber account and device data with third parties please do not reply to this text thank you for choosing AT&T I'm sure pretty much I'm pretty sure it says the same thing for Cricket as well this is this is from AT&T so um you know, um, kind of concerning and like, what the fuck, you know? So, this is on the hills of AT&T and other carriers promising again to stop providing location data to data aggress uh, aggregate aggregation companies. Many customers of AT&T. It's him being there, Cricket have received an interesting text message. They were informed that they had consented to share to sharing phone location or other subscriber account and device data with third parties without actually having consented. So they like they're they're getting the sense of like I um, I I don't remember doing any of that. They're probably oh, I don't remember doing any of that. I'm sure that the user didn't do any of it. I'm sure it's just like I don't know, it's just fucking crazy. Is a text right there in the form there. Um the person who read the article says that he uh but the person who read the article says that they received multiple copies of the text on their cricket number, which prompted them to look for additional reports. As it turns out, there are plenty of other AT&T and Cricket customers who receive the same messages without even consenting to data access. There's potentially there's a possibility that these could be spam phishing messages, but it asks subscribers to not reply. A phishing scam would likely include a link for people to enter their account credentials. So this could be a it, this could be uh, a scam. This could be spam, you know, or whatever. But it's still pretty fucking serious if you ask me. Um, the person who wrote this article, they got like all, they got a lot of text messages right there. See, that's like four of them right there. It says. They, uh, they also go on to say that they reached out to Cricket customer support. He told them they are investigating the messages with AT&T. We, we have reached out to AT&T and we'll update this post when they respond. So, um, Cricket is working with AT&T to investigate these messages and stuff like that. So that's good. So hopefully this will stop if it hasn't already. Uh, this article got published on Sunday, like I said, this article got published on Sunday, so, um, if you guys have gotten this text message from AT&T or Cricket, let me know. And let me know what, what, uh, what, what did you thought about it, what you freaked out, what you like, holy shit, like, you know, because I'm sure every fucking carry does it, not just AT&T or Cricket, every carry, uh, shares location data of their users, every carry does it, doesn't matter, every, K fucking does it, but you know, but now they're uh, saying that K is and now want to stop doing that. Which we'll see if they do. We'll see. We'll see if they do or not. But 
Um, yeah, if you guys own, own AT and T and Cricket, you guys probably have gotten the sex message. And let me know if you guys have. And let me know what you guys thought about the text message. What you guys freaked out? Did you call? Did you guys call Cricket or AT and T and ask them what was it about? And did you ask why it happened? Did you ask them? Did you call customer support and uh, tell them about the message or anything like that? I mean, this is nuts, but you know, like I said, every carrier share, shares location data. It doesn't matter what carrier you have, they share location data of, uh, of their users. Every carrier does, not just AT&T and not AT &T Cricket. Every carrier does it. Every carrier does it, but they're talking about carrier, they're talking about carriers are going to stop doing that, but we'll see. So, um,. Yeah, so hope this is uh hope this is not happening so uh what what's now five, six days later, so um it's kinda you know, kinda concerning, it's kinda uh it's kinda scary, like what the hell? Like it's kinda scary that that you get text messages saying that you have consented to location data when you didn't even actually do it yourself, so I don't know if this is a scam or what or whatever, but it's still pretty concerning if you ask me. So, what did you guys think? What did you guys think about this? And have you guys got this on any other carriers like Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, stuff like that? So, I'd like to know what you guys thought about this. Is so, if you guys knew this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. If it really helps me out a lot. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.